Arul Hikma presents Story Time The Clever Businessman Bismillahirrahmanirrahim A king once had the announcement made in his kingdom that whoever speaks a lie will have to face the righteous judge and will then receive a very severe punishment After hearing this announcement the people started to stay away from each other fearing that someone may accuse them of lying the king and his minister disguised themselves one day and went out into the city when they met a businessman the following conversation took place the king said how old are you the businessman replied 20 years old sir the king then said how much money do you have Seventy thousand. How many children do you have? One. The king and the minister, after this conversation, then returned to check their register. They, however, found out that the man had lied to them. They therefore called for him, and the following conversation took place this time. The king said, "You said that you were twenty years old, which was a lie." Your punishment will therefore be and the businessman paused the king right there and said You must prove that I am wrong the king said Our register here says that you are now 65 years old Dear sir it was only 20 years of my life that I spent in peace and happiness I therefore regard only those years as my life When we asked you about your money you said that it was only 70000 whereas the register shows that your money cannot even be counted Although I have so much wealth it is 70000 that I spent to build a masjid and because that will be of use to me in the akhira I regard only that to be my true wealth But when we asked you about your children you said that you only have one whereas you have five Four of my children are worthless because they have terrible characters and are evil people. However, the one is a good child whose character is excellent. It is only him that I regard as my child because only he can be of use in the akhira. The king was very pleased with the answers and said, "It is truly only the years of peace and happiness that can be regarded as life." and only that wealth which is really wealth which was spent for Allah and which will benefit one in the akhira as for the children it is only the ones with good character and who do good deeds who can be called as one's children dear children from this story we learn that the answers that the businessman gave are really what our deen says only that part of a person's life can really be called life which is spent in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala similarly only that wealth can be called wealth which is spent to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and only those children are worth calling one own children who do good deeds please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their parents and a form of sadaqa for their parents after their death Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam about his son who did not accept iman he is really not from your family we also learn that we should spend all we have for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the intelligent person is he who prepares for his death we must therefore keep on the straight path and tell others to do the same the end